What's going on guys, Mark from MD Gaming here and today we are back and today we have got a 200k Premier League squad builder for you guys. Now this team on paper looks absolutely fantastic, it's something that I would use. Uh, I know obviously that um, my team's on a different scale, not as much as I like it to but I know compared to this it is but try to make whatever I could the best I could. So let's get into it, 4 one 2 one 2 we're starting off with so I think that's a strong... Uh, a strong uh, formation for us, but let's see how we get on. So we want Premier League. Let's jump into this. So our first goalkeeper, if it loads up, is Edison. Now Edison is one of the best and is a very, very strong goalkeeper. Uh, 85 diving, 80 handling, 90 kicking, 87 reflexes, 64 speed, and 82 positioning. He is a strong overall goalkeeper. Uh, I paid 16,000 coins for him. I think this team's like is 10,000 coins over 200k. But I'm not 100% on I think it's just about that. But if you've got that spare 10,000 coins, it's not too bad. You can just aim towards it, maybe see what's in your club and just get that. But we start off with Edison there. Edison's a strong goalkeeper. Um, I've always liked him since the start anyway. Um, right back, we do have Kyle Walker. Now, Kyle Walker's around 40,000 coins. I've had this one for a while, as you can see. But he is a very, very strong right back. Uh, 90 pace, 63 shots, 75 passing, 77 dribbling, 81 defending, and 90 physical. He is a strong right back. You could upgrade in a way to um, Trent Alexander Arnold, 82. Apparently, that card's meant to be unreal. I uh, think I might have to do a player review on that. But I'm looking at getting the 89 card. Uh, our centre backs are, if I find them, Socrates, J Europa League, Team of the Group Stage. And Sanchez, these now, I've not actually used Sanchez this FIFA, uh, I've used Socrates before, I don't like his ones to watch card, his ones to watch card feels different than this card, however, uh, give me one second, however, it, it does, it, it looks a very strong card, 72 pace, uh, 86 defending, 84 physical, it's, they're really the ones that you want, he is strong in where you need him. Um, same with uh, Sanchez. Sanchez has got 74, uh, 76 pace, 84 defending and 82 physical. Once again, he's strong. His stamina seems to be the one that lets him down. Uh, we go to our left back and we have Marcus Alonso now. I've got Marcus Alonso's road to the final card. And even when that was at his basic, I felt it was a very, very strong left back card. Now it's like 88 rated. It's gone up six ratings. But it was very, very strong. And I feel like this card will be... The exact same CDM we have for video. Now, I do like Fernandinho. His UCL card's very, very strong, but it's like 100k, which is a bit steep, you know. But we do go with Fabinho. Now, Fabinho's card is a very strong card. It's got 71 pace, 69 shooting. His shooting does not feel what it says. His shooting's actually really good. The times I've had him in positions, especially in a 4 3 3 as he pushes up, has been brilliant. Uh, 70, 78 passing, 77 dribbling, 84 defending, and 84 physical. It's such a strong, like, defensive card. It's ridiculous. Moving on to our right mid, and it's none of them. He's right wingers, and he's he's a right winger. Yeah, there we go. We have Willian. Now, Willian. See, not many people seem to like this card. I mean, he is quite cheap. I think I paid five thousand coins for him. Uh, 88 pace, well, he's, got, he's got the pace to go down the wing, 77 shots, so he has got a decent shot, especially when you're cutting inside, it could always help. 80 passing, and especially his dribbling is just ridiculous, 86 dribbling. Uh, we now move on to our left mid, which I think is in a left wing position. Is he? Yes, there he is, Son. No, Son's, ri Son's ridiculous. Oh, crap. Son is absolutely ridiculous. We like anybody who plays this FIFA knows how good he actually is. Um, he, he just he always seems to be there. He always seems to help. He's got um, that's from Marx Alonso. <laughs> eighty six pace, eighty five shot, especially is ridiculous. Eighty five dribble, and he's so good on on that wing, and he's so good for cutting inside and just taking that shot and bagging him. Uh, we go to our centre attacking mid, who isn't a left wing. Roberto Firmino. Now, I've not used Firmino at centre mid, uh, centre attacker mid, but I see a lot of people doing it and it seems to pay well. Like, he has got good passing, um, really good shooting, especially for them edge of the box situations where it falls back and he can just rifle it into the top corner. An 86 dribbling, he's quite tall as well. He's, well, I thought he was quite tall, he isn't. <laughs> he's 5'11. 
Right, let's move on to our strikers now. These are the two that I'm really happy about. Troy Deeney. And where is he? Is he not a striker? Is he centre forward? Yeah, he's centre forward. And in form king. Now, he was... Troy Deeney was part of my 100k squad builder. He's now gone up to 50k. He is... This guy is absolutely ridiculous. I know his stats change, but 96 pace and 95 shooting. I mean, an 84 physical. His stamina is nowhere near what you want it to be. But just don't run with him. Wait until that ball comes to him and then go 97 sprint speed, 92 acceleration, 92 finishing, 99 shot power, 91 long shots. Is is ridiculous. This card would be stupid not to pick up. I've used him before when his stats were a little bit different, but he was good then, and I'm hoping he's good now. And then a guy who we did a player review on, who we gave a 10 out of 10. Make sure you do go check that player review out. One of the goals he scored was absolutely ridiculous. But this guy has got to be one of the best strikers in the Premier League at the minute. And he only costs 29,000 coins. Well, that's the team, guys. We're going to set it up. So we're going to have a getting behind for the two uh, strikers. Same with the two wingers and the full back staying back along with Fabinho. Let's get into a game. Right, okay, guys. Going into the first game out with three division rivals. And we have a very, very strong team. Ibra, flashback Ibra, Lampard, Van Dijk, Vertonghen, um, not Vertonghen, Arderfield, flashback Czech, Robertson, Witzel, that's a ridiculous team compared to ours, but let's see how we get on, 200k our team cost, let's see how we can do against this guy. Dini, oh what a save, Dini getting up there, really good save, it's Kyle Walker, Kyle Walker straight down to William, he's onside. Into Dini. Oh, oh, oh. Very, very close. This guy's very hard to break down. Dini got it. Oh, he still has. Troy Dini, and that's one. Rocket shot. Troy Dini puts that in. Right into that far right hand corner. Gets us that lead that we needed. What a strike. Easy interception. He was quick enough to get to the interception and just puts that straight past Petajek. 1 0. Wasn't the one I wanted. Oh, Firmino. King! What a strike by that! What a strike by Joshua King! From 25 yards out at least, strikes that bang into the left hand corner of Czech. Firmino's tackle led to all down to that. Firmino's tackle led it all. Dini's uh, pass and then straight past Van Dijk, straight past Czech into that left hand corner. What a strike! And that's it, guys. That's it guys, first half done, 2-0 up, we've had 51%, we've actually seen to bast him everywhere, we've had 13 tackles on, one of them was a foul, that's fantastic, we've been playing really well, um, let's see how we get on, but that's his last time, there was Socrates, what a big, big, strong, like, what strength to show there, especially against Latan. really, really good, there's William, there's King, Oh, he played the fancy, makes him, and just couldn't get that to Dini. It was very, very close. What a stop there by Socrates, defending again. That was... I can't get over how well Socrates is doing. He really... For 30-something thousand coins, I think he is. He's playing really well. There's Williams' run. Counter-attack. There's Sanchez. What a, what a block there to stop that counter-attack going through. And there's King. With our own counter attacking, check again, gets it. Dini into King. King again, makes it three. There we go, we just needed that little bit of space just to get us going. And then Dini sets up King again. 3 0, 2 for King. Um, an assist for Dini, and I think Dini scored the first one. It's absolutely brilliant. Oh, he's put that in. Oh, and Edison. What a stop! I made the mistake of letting him have a bit too much room there, and Edison come out and stopped it, put it in its board. King's making that run. Dini. Firmino. And it's four. It wasn't even Firmino, it was Son. I thought it was Firmino personally. <laughs> but Son gets that for us. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. Very happy with that. Great start to kick us off. 4 0. Son just puts that straight past Jack into that bottom right. Fantastic. 4 0. Let's keep it going. And there we have it, guys. 
Full time, 4 0. What a game to kick us off with with this team. Absolutely fantastic. The defence felt very, very solid. And the strike force was ridiculous. Yeah, King got one, Dini got one, Son got one. Uh, Dini got three assists in that game. Firmino didn't even get a single one. Absolutely fantastic. I can't complain at that. Let's move into the second game of Division Rivals. Right, okay, going into our second game of Division Rivals here. And it's another very strong team. Another one we're checking in that um, Mbappe, Neymar, Goretzka, Fabinho, Robertson, Van Dijk, uh, Desai, I think his name is. I can't pronounce it any time. But it is a strong, strong team. Let's see how we do, especially with uh, coming off a such a good win last game. Right. What a save by Edison. I messed up. The switching wasn't happening. Don't know what's wrong with the switching lately on FIFA. It does seem to be really bad. <sighs> Carl Walker, his poor touch. It's pressing B. Did way too late from when I wanted it. Come on, Edison. Against Neymar. It's a guessing game, this now. It's not down to the actual team, it's down to me. I'm going to go right. I want to say left, but I'm going to go right. Yes! I was lucky I did. There's Socrates again having him in the, having him in his pocket again. Firmino through to King. King's on side. And he bags it. 1-0. Joshua King. Keeper did get a touch to it. But that's par for the course. King bags that makes it 1-0 after this is a very tough game. But 1-0. There we go. Half time, 1-0. It's it's been a solid game. It has been a really tough game for us to play, but we're getting through there, we are getting through. It's a Dini, a Dini bags it. 2 0. Fantastic work there by Firmino. Just getting it through and getting Dini that second goal. Ah, he's got it. Defence fell a bit apart there, but he got it. Fair enough with his lone player. Willian. King makes it three. Finishes the game. Dead and buried. Absolutely brilliant work. And my phone went off as well, so that needs to go on mute. <laughs> 3-1, absolutely fantastic. Really, I really am enjoying playing with this team, I really am. Second game, 3-1, two wins in a row for us. This team's, the defence is a rock. The King's in it, so it's just, the strike force is brilliant. Like, King with two, Didi with one, Firmino with two assists, and William with one assist. Absolutely fantastic. Let's jump into the third and final game, and let's see what we think of it. Alright, okay, guys, going into the third and final game, and this guy's got a very strong. Um, I was going to say Premier League team, but it's half Premier League, half La Liga, a bit La Liga, but half French. He's playing a 5 2 2 1. No, because it doesn't get full games. He's got Arfield, Van Dyke, Alisson, uh, Aurier, Son, Mares, Rashford. I'm trying to get. Oh, I ran out of time. It's a weird team, that. Very weird team. Don't know what he's doing. With his uh, other centre back, but Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today. let's get into it. King gets that. King and he gets it in. Wow, really did not expect it. He had two defenders on him and the keeper coming at him, and somehow managed to squeeze that through and put that in the back of the net. Fair enough, absolutely brilliant. He he tackles it off him, gets squeezed by two defenders, goes under the goalkeeper's arm. One nil. Look at Firmino, he just sprints back, man. And it's 1 0. 1 1. Been all over this guy, and he's just got one lucky counter attack and got it. So, Firmino. To Dini! Oh, saved by, Ed by Allison. I was going to say Edison by Allison. There's Kyle Walker. And that's a poor, poor. Oh, no, that's all fell apart. All fell apart. Poor, poor pass back by Kyle Walker to straight to his player. This, this is one thing I've found with uh, this team so far is Fabinho and Firmino are always in the wrong place. It's like they switch. It's like Firmino goes CDM and Fabinho goes camp. And with 3 1. Don't ask what happened there. We got lucky. In my sense, we got fucking lucky. 
And there's Rashford, 3-1. Three, three, this team's fucking stupid. His back five is fucking a joke. Go on, yeah. Fuck off. It's been fucked over massively in this game, man. It really have. It's really wound me up. Firmino has to go out of this team. Honestly, like, Firmino's work rate pushes Fabinho up, and I don't want Firmino in CDM, but that's how it ends up every time against this guy. Speaking of Firmino, <laughs> he just scores. But every time, like, he seems to, like... Fabinho comes up, Firmino drags back every time and it's starting to really wind me up because every time I'm on the defence, I haven't got my best CDM. Look, there he is there now and then fucking Firmino still back there. There we go guys, third game done. Really annoyed with that game, felt like I didn't deserve to lose that but we got battered 4-2 apparently. Um, definitely found out what, I, I definitely know what I've lost in that team. Like I had very similar stats there with him at the end. I definitely know what's wrong with the team. Let's get into what I think of it. Right guys, 200k Premier League squad builder. Three games we played, we won two and lost one. Um, and straight away, the one thing I would definitely change is for me, no needs to go. Straight, like, no. The work rates are the things that mess him up, because for some reason, every single time, uh, these two will just swap places and Fabinho will be in camp, but then Firmino's in CDM, and it's not what you, that's what messed me up in that last game, I felt... So every time he was on the counter attack, I needed my big, strong, sense of defensive midfielder there, and I had Firmino, and it just went to crap. However, this team is ridiculous. I love it. Apart from Firmino, this team is absolutely a go go by. Like seriously, go by this team. Apart from Firmino, this team is overpowered. Dini, three games, two goals, three assists. King, three games, five goals, zero assists. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. Socrates was a powerhouse at the back. Sanchez was great. Edison had some moments, but that last game was the main one that we conceded a lot in. Um, but yeah, guys, 200k, go buy this team. Seriously, go buy this team. It will win you a lot of games. Even I'm considering now getting it for the pass to Lineker. But there we go, guys. Let me know what I should do next. What um, squad builders you want me to do next and have a look into. But it's been more from MD Gaming. Make sure you do leave a like rating down below and subscribe if you are new around here. And we'll catch you all next time. Peace out. W I double T to the Y. I pluck your wings. You think you fly? I do this shit all day, all night. Don't need no weed. I'm NASA high. Smet this girl, her ass and I'm. But of course she talks so ass and I'm. And I'm out my mind. I'm about to slaughter every beat. I fucking find. Kill it. Don't stop me, dog. I beef. I'm Kobe Ashi, dog. The rap game Kamehameha. I'm screaming, motherfucker, bro.